from Hilo, Hawaii, where I am enjoying a bountiful harvest of hydroponic pak choy and lettuce. It appears that all is well with the Kratky hydroponic system. But there is a potential for breeding mosquitoes. The nutrient solution in the tanks is neither circulated nor aerated and is sometimes referred to as being stagnant. Adult mosquitoes lay eggs in or very near stagnant water. The eggs hatch into larvae and are sometimes referred to as wigglers. The larvae come to the surface to breathe air. The larvae undergo metamorphosis and change into the pupa stage and then transition into adult mosquitoes. The whole life cycle from egg to larva to pupa to adult mosquito takes about 10 to 14 days, mostly depending upon water temperature, faster when warmer, slower when cooler. In fact, Mosquitoes haven't been much of a problem in hydroponic systems at cool high elevation sites in Hawaii. Observing that fiberglass window screen keeps mosquitoes out of my house, perhaps it could be used to control mosquitoes in hydroponic tanks. To demonstrate the proposed mosquito control method, fiberglass window screen is placed under the net pots there should be minimal sag in the screen. Lettuce seedlings have been transplanted in the net pots. Mosquitoes will not be able to lay eggs in the lower part of the tank below the screen. And if any mosquitoes develop under the screen, they will be trapped there. Nutrient solution is added so that it is about three quarters inch above the screen. It is possible for eggs to hatch above the screen and transition to adult mosquitoes in 10 to 14 days if there is nutrient solution there. But if the solution level drops below the screen, the adults can't develop. Thus, it is important that the plants consume this upper zone of solution very quickly. So I placed a fiberglass screen over a tank of nutrient solution and formed it into place with my handy dandy frame. Notice that the screen is submerged in about three quarters inch of nutrient solution. And then place the cover on the tank. Transplanting seedling blocks requires the extra step of adding growing medium to completely fill the net pots. This prevents mosquitoes from sneaking into the tank through the net pot openings. We want the nutrient solution to drop below the screen by 10 to 14 days, which is the normal time for a mosquito life cycle. Then any newly developing adult mosquitoes will be trapped under the screen. Therefore, it would be preferable to transplant two-week-old seedlings rather than the one-week-old seedlings shown here because larger seedlings would consume more nutrient solution. The transplanting process is easier when seedlings are raised in net pots filled with growing medium. This lettuce has grown nicely and the nutrient solution level has dropped well below the screen and no mosquitoes flew out as the tight fit of the cover and net pots excluded mosquitoes from entering. Here's another tank with both pak choy and lettuce. There's less than an inch of nutrient solution remaining in this tank. What if I suspected mosquitoes in the area below the screen? 
I certainly wouldn't want mosquitoes flying out. Here is an approach. Add soap to water and shake it until it's sudsy. Loosen a net pot and add the soapy water. Shake the tank. Now this probably wouldn't work with a large tank. Remove the top cover. And empty the sudsy water into a bucket. mosquitoes should drown in the soapy water. Now it's time to clean up the screen. Just let it dry for a day. Then take a toothbrush and just brush off the roots. They come off pretty easily. Then flip the screen over and brush off the other side. Then shake the screen off and you're all ready for the next crop. Now let's change our attention to growing hydroponic tomatoes and peppers where a constant level of nutrient solution is supplied to the tanks. We will leave the production method details for another video. Plants are grown in two foot by three foot plastic tanks in a type of net pot called an accelerator pot. Fiberglass window screen is placed under the pots. There should be minimal sag in the screen. The screen should exclude mosquitoes from getting into the area below the screen. At transplanting time, the nutrient solution level is about one half inch above the screen and this will moisten the growing medium in the pots by capillary action. As demonstrated by placing a paper towel in the pot. If a mosquito lays eggs in the water above the screen, they could hatch and transition to adult mosquitoes in 10 to 14 days if there is nutrient solution above the screen. Therefore, larger seedlings should be transplanted so they drop the liquid level as quickly as possible. The nutrient solution level has dropped to slightly less than the three inch level. It is maintained there for the duration of the crop with an exterior float valve apparatus. The screen prevents mosquitoes from entering this zone and laying eggs there. If any adult mosquitoes develop, they will be trapped under the screen for the duration of the crop. A fiberglass window screen is draped over a two foot by three foot plastic tank. It will be pushed down to just below the bottoms of the accelerator pots. An expanded polystyrene cover is placed over the tank and six plants will be transplanted. After the initial nutrient solution has dropped below the screen, the level is maintained at about three inches. The leverage of a tomato plant dislodges the accelerator pot slightly and provides a route for mosquitoes to enter the tank above the screen. Lifting the tank cover risks injury to the plants, but it shows the tomato roots very nicely. The screen prevents mosquitoes from entering this lower zone. Here we get to see the pepper roots above the screen and below the screen. Devising a screen to exclude mosquitoes from larger, 
production size tanks will be challenging, but I hope someone will post a video on this worthy accomplishment. In addition to providing mosquito control, screen tricks roots into thinking that they are grabbing onto soil, and some plants grow better when roots grow through a screen. Other related approaches for mosquito control include a well-screened greenhouse and snug-fitting net pots and covers of tanks. Well, it's time to buzz off, but first I want to say aloha. Thank you.